Hello, this video is about understanding thyroid function tests for individuals who are not taking thyroid medications. This is the pituitary gland in the brain. As you can see, it's in the bottom part of the brain right here. And this is the thyroid gland. This is a front view and this is a side view. So normally the pituitary gland makes a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone that goes to the thyroid and stimulate the thyroid to make thyroid hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, and it stimulates the thyroid gland to make free T4 and free T3. And those hormones go back to the pituitary and exert negative feedback on the pituitary, telling it, okay, we have enough thyroid in the system. So, the normal TSH is between 0.4 and 4.5 usually. The normal free T4 is usually between 0.8 and 1.8. And the normal T3 is between 2.3 and 4.2. So this is what happens normally. It should have a negative feedback when the free T4 and free T3 are normal to continue to produce the same amount of normal TSH. Now, if the thyroid starts making too much free T4 and free T3, if there's too much free T4 and 3 T2 extra, then you're gonna have extra negative feedback on the pituitary, and the TSH is gonna be low. It's gonna be low, suppressed, and the free T4 and free T3 levels are gonna be high. This is a condition in which you have too much thyroid in your system, thyroid toxicosis, and the main uh, three causes of that are either overactive thyroid gland, because of antibodies that activate the thyroid to make too much thyroid hormone, like in a condition called Graves' disease, autoimmune condition, or a toxic nodule that makes too much thyroid hormone, or toxic multiple nodules, or another condition in which the thyroid gland breaks down and releases into the body too much thyroid hormone. In all these conditions, gonna to be too much free T4 and free T3, which suppress the pituitary, so the TSH will be low. But let's look one more time. This is a pituitary making TSH to stimulate the thyroid hormone to make free T4 and free T3. And then there is a negative feedback to the pituitary um, to, to maintain the same amount of free T4, free T3 and TSH. So what happens if uh, suddenly your thyroid stops working well? You don't make as much free T4. The level is too low. You lose the negative feedback. So the free T4 and free T3 are gonna be low and the TSH is gonna be high in underactive thyroid.